Whoa, well Grand done. Yeah, Grandad was there. Hmm. What, he yeah. told you about that? Grandad told you. Because so many men were being what? killed. Whoa, well Grand done. Yeah, Grandad was there. Say, hmm. What Same told you about, about that? You know, there's thousands of them. They couldn't be saying, well, you can tell his mother about him, where, where, where we're putting him. What? There's well, lots of them that were never, yeah, never there. found. Mm. Never, what, he you told you about that? Never found. Mm. Grandad oh, told one you. One day, on the... So the snippet of the um, piece that you just heard was actually the edited track of the death toll verbatim which was kindly interviewed by Lauren Simpson and recorded by her grandmother, her stepfather um, and her granddad. Okay, so I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the death toll verbatim um, and the other verbatims that we use in the show um, and just the way in which they've progressed since our work in progress. So we've now had the show um, which thankfully was really well be received, which was really nice. Um, but I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about the notes that we took on and how we merged different mediums into one um, to create our own style. So we used the gobo, um, which Louise made, which you can see in the link below, um, how that was made. And we basically used that and spotlighting as our stylized lighting for those sections so every time there was a verbatim in the piece um, the gobo and spot would be focused uh, so the audience had familiarity with that um, and so it created a trademark kind of style for us um, one of the most important pieces of feedback that I've taken on I think in the process with the verbatims was cutting the naturalism so in a previous post, um, a few weeks back, I mentioned how Katie Mitchell said that setting was really important. Um, so thinking about placing of furniture in the room, props and such like, and we've swapped all of that. Uh, so it's simply the actor um, and the chair um, on which they're sitting or the place in which they're standing and just their iPod device and the actor has the only characterization the actor has is uh, through their voice and the accent which they pick up from the recording. Nothing to do with their physicality or becoming that character. Um, and then we wanted it to become more apparent um, with a fade up of the verbatims at the end, um, which you can also watch in the video below. So that's how we went about that. Um, it was more difficult for the actors to project and um, the death toll verbatim scene as Jess helped me edit the track on a programme called Spotify and Lauren, Jamie and Jess, it then meant they had to listen to the same track at the same time whilst projecting with each other. So they were set in three places along the front of the stage, um, which in the end worked really well. It was just difficult um, for us to work with at first but then certain things such as turning the headphones the headphone volume up um, on the iPods and just practicing exercise for the focus um, helped really well especially with Jamie's physicality and character and Jenny as well they came on leaps and bounds and just tr literally transformed themselves into the character which was really nice um, so that's the main note I took on with that um, also, I was surprised having watched um, myself in the green room area during the show uh, whilst we were sat around the edges. Um, the humour that the audience picked up on that we, because of such a delicate topic, we were unsure if that was going to happen, but from an audience viewpoint, you know, that was really nice to see. So, yeah, it was really, really really pleasing for us to see in the show so that's that for verbatim for now uh look out for my last post which will be about the final week and the end of the show and where we go from here so bye